Hello there. Well, this one might be interesting because what we're doing today is we're going to look at two golden ales, one from uh, Lidl and one, get the camera right, from Aldi. Um, so like, um, they're both, like I said, they're both a golden ale. Um, I'm guessing they're both going to be a typical English golden ale. They're both exactly 4.1%. They come from uh, different breweries that, that make them for the individual super marches. Um, what I'm expecting, if it's a gold nail, I'm expecting it to be a very light malt and some really nice hoppy flavours to come through. So I'm expecting some fruitiness um, from the hops to come through. Um, uh, price wise, the little one, I can't remember, I think it was about £1.30 for a 500ml bowl. Um, picked up the Aldi one for 99p. Uh, I don't think it was on special offer either, so I think that's the price. So price wise, the Aldi one just beats it at the moment. Let's um, crack them open. And let's see what they're, they're like. So this is the little one first, made by um, Hatherwoods Brewery. It pours nice. It pours what we expect. That nice golden colour. Clear. One finger head, maybe a little bit more. Very frothy head. A little bit of carbonation there so that head might might stay as well so that might be quite nice off the bat the aroma i'm getting sweet hops from that um, and some sweet hops and you know what there might be just a now this is just sweets coming through it might just be a little bit of honey coming through on that one let's open the oldie version nicely again pour that into a nice glass well very similar there's not color wise color wise they are identical the other ones may be just a little bit tad darker um, not as much carbonation by the looks of it and that poured a finger head and it's dissipating fairly quickly so uh, all the aromas more definitely a stronger aroma coming through on that I am getting I'm getting a bit of biscuit and our caramel coming through on that so that's a very very pleasant odour and there's maybe some floral notes in there. A um, little bit of lacing still on, on both on, on the top of that. So keeping a, just a tiny little bit of the, the head, which is quite nice. Let's, um, let's taste them now. So this is the little one. Quite tangy. Sweet hoppy flavours coming through on that. And there's a tanginess, there's a grapefruit coming through on that as well, which kind of for an English gold nail, I'd, I'd expect something like that to come through. So that's quite nice. Taste wise, it's a taste of this. So this is the Aldi one. Actually, it's a very similar taste profile. Light on the citrus, it's not as citrusy. And it's difficult to taste them both together, but I think that's got a stronger bit of aftertaste.
yeah, the little one isn't as bitter, um, and it's a little bit sharper with the grapefruit. In the mouth, you can you can feel that sharpness cutting through. The older one. The bitter malts are there and it's a lighter citrusy, it's not as sharp in the mouth. And the other one definitely, as it goes down, it lengthens, you, you, you're definitely getting a, a, a stronger bitter aftertaste. Which I always feel is important for, for me when I'm drinking it. I like to know I've drunk a bitter and you only tend to get that afterwards with those aftertastes. It's very difficult. Um, I'd say look-wise, I slightly prefer the Aldi one. I think it's a slightly better colour for me. Um, aroma. Again, on the aroma, the Aldi has it. Again, on the price as well, the Aldi ha had it. Um, Taste-wise, very similar, both of them. Taste wise, I have to say that's milder, that's not as sharp with the citrus. Which actually, for a gold nail, I quite prefer the fact it is that that lighter. And there is a biscuity, caramelly note to that, which there isn't to the little one. The uh, little one is, is very citrusy, and, and that's it. This, uh, the other one, just seems to be just a little bit more complex. There just seems to be a little bit more going on in there, which I do like as well. I think overall, I think they're both very nice. They're both excellent, and I could sit and drink both of those without a problem at all. Um, I would probably say there's nothing too special about the little one. I think it's a, the elder one's probably, for me, a little bit tastier, uh, and maybe a little bit more moorish. Um, Score-wise, I'd scored a little, six out of ten. I'd score the Aldi 7, 7.5 out of 10. So for me, on, on that test, um, not scientific, but it's just a simple taste test, I think the um, Aldi um, Golden Ale from well, it's Badged Harper's Brewery, um, Brewing Company, for me, is the winner. Congratulations, Aldi, and uh, cheers, everybody.